It's an art form. A raging passion. It's a way of life, really. It's a battle of strength and courage. Grace. Ferocity. for the memory of my mother and the injustices she faced. I played for her love of beauty, freedom, and truth. And she is my muse. I joined for the hot chicks. Born April 10th, 1978, 3.15 p.m. He's a Taurus, the bull. Strong, masculine, wild. That's the way he plays. I have been to every single one of his games ever since the third grade. He was a god on that playground. I mean, the way his braces shimmered in the sun. I remember it like it was yesterday. It was a Tuesday. Friday. And he was wearing this red rugby shirt. White polo. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway. It was a beautiful sight. Our eyes met across the pinball court. Tetherball. And we've been together ever since. Two months. We have dedicated our lives to following Tetherball throughout the North American continent. She drags me Twin along. Twin Peaks, Tallahassee, the greater New York municipalities, Manitoba, Quebec, Prince Edward Isles. Marigold County. Chesapeake County Regionals, Springfield Invitationals, Cow Hill County, all the big games. And now I'm here today, waiting for him. It's like the biggest game of his life and like the biggest moment in my life. Because, I mean, like I said, <laughs> I wouldn't be me. <laughs> What's for Apollo? What's for right now? How excited are you? Like the world championship. Great. Like this is like the game. This is what we've been prepping for. And and I totally have a strategy, Paul. Here I am once again. It's kind of my ritual, you know. Eat some ice cream, then prepare for the big game. There's a lot to decide before a big game like today's. Rocky Road, vanilla, peach. Do I go for the bowl or the cone? Nuts or no nuts? Too many choices. It gets confusing sometimes. That's why I like tetherball. It offers me a structure my frozen dairy treat cannot. A man once said, know the rules and the rules will set you free. Well, I'm the ref. I know the rules. I'm a free bird. Kind of ironic, isn't it? The ball is roped down, but it leads to an untethered freedom. I'm what most people would call a tetherball purist. Most people don't know it, but the sport dates back to the early 1900s in the slums of New York City. You see, there was a lot of immigrants back then, and they loved hitting balls. Laszlo Letzkowitz. <laughs> Ooh, Laszlo was a ball hitter. So was Bud Supinchanovich. Anyway, back then the ball was tethered to prevent it from being stolen. And in those days, they used a chain, not a rope. A chain was harder to cut through. You see this? This is the way I play. I make sure the ball is never stolen by my opponent. I also like to incorporate various martial arts into my form when I play. Contrary to what most people believe, martial arts isn't an aggressive fighting style. It's more of an art style, as the name suggests. Martial arts? I mean, they're martial artists, really. The fluid motion in the body, the grace, respect for the opponent. That's how I play. So before big games, I like to meditate, and I'm able to start the match calm, collected, Thankful and kind towards the other player who has given me the opportunity to do what I love. Oh, I'm so sorry. I think a big reason for this is because I take my training extremely seriously. I do Pilates, 
and aqua aerobics for flexibility and conditioning, endurance. And for strength, I hit pinatas, barehanded. Nothing is better for tetherball training than pinata hitting. The uh, hopeless, weak, pathetic little animal shape, I look at that and my killer instinct is honed in. And the, the hitting motion really helps me improve my strength and my accuracy. And I should also mention that the little sweets and candies that fall out of said paper mache carcass are a fantastic motivator. <laughs> I really feel that this gives me an advantage when I'm out on the court. When I hit that ball, it's like, I mean, you're going to think you see Tootsie Rolls fall out today. Bubba. Baby boy. Bubba, actually, Bubba's my last name. Mama, she was a little knocked up on painkillers. You get my trip. Anywho, Ophelia and I was neighbors until she started training with that ritzy, glitzy tetherball coach. He was best buds, actually. You tell Mama to live a beer. That is until Mama. Mama, she ran off with the ice cream man that she met on one of her routes. Mama and the ice cream man, that ticked me off a little bit. Get on hearing that song, man. playing, playing in my mind, dreaming of mint chocolate chip, pistachio, Neapolitan, strawberry. Mama and the ice cream man. So I burnt them home rucking trucks to the ground. Every last ice cream truck. Apparently that ain't legal. Where's the challenge, you know? Where's the all right, competition? All right. And then it happened. I scored again. It was getting boring. Tetherball. 